Hey everybody, welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and today I'm going to be reviewing the Jack Pacific Bowser figure from the upcoming Super Mario Brothers movie. This toy line has just started to hit store shelves and this particular Bowser costs $29.99 at Target. But here's a little pro tip. If you are a Target Circle member, be sure to check the app because there may be a $10 off a $30 in-store purchase coupon waiting for you. And if that's the case, you can get this figure along with a pack of gum or some Tic Tacs or something and get yourself a nice cool $10 off. Now this particular figure is definitely one of the more desirable ones from the line because it is a pretty big figure and he also includes this flame slash smoke effect that we're going to get into once I open this guy up. So here's a look at the back of the box. It's telling you about all the different features. He's got 14 points of articulation. It requires three AAA batteries for that smoke and flame effect. And it's got some premium details. The rest of the figures in this line cost $19.99 each. All right. So with that being said, let's crack this guy open and take a closer look. Now let's take a look at this Bowser and see what $30 gets us. Now right off the bat, I can tell you that for your $30, mostly going to be getting the looks and the play feature. Articulation is definitely not this guy's strong suit. I mean, look at him. He's big, he's bulky, he's wide. Not a whole lot that you're going to be able to do from that front. But let's take a look at some of the paint, see how well Jack Specific did with this Bowser figure. Now, they have a long history of doing Nintendo characters, Jack Specific does. They've been doing them for years, and for the most part, they tend to do a very nice job from some of the larger scale figures like this Bowser here to Metroid, Donkey Kong, and then they also did some really small scale figures as well. You used to be able to get just going to the checkout lines at uh, department stores to get different versions of Link as well as Pikmin and, you know, little figures like that. So they tend to do a pretty good job when it comes to the paint, and when it comes comes to this Bowser, there are some things about him that I do like as far as the uh, attention to detail. First is going to be the gradient of the green that goes into the yellow on his skin. You can kind of see it prominently right here down below near his thigh and the same thing is done on his front to his arms coming from his shoulders and going towards the going towards the neck area. So you kind of see that it kind of blends into each other and I do think that that is a nice job. But for the most part, this is just a lot of um, molded plastic with not a lot of small intricate paint details on him, which is okay because it kind of just goes along with how the figure or how the character actually looks in the game. And in this case, the movie still has that somewhat fiery orange hair. We got the frowny eyebrows there. So it's a very nice look for Bowser. Got those armbands with the spikes, with the silver paint on the spikes. So, you know, it definitely looks like a fully fleshed out character. And I do think that they did a pretty good job. Looking over here on the shell, the shell looks a little bit flat to me. Um, I would like just a little bit more definition in this shell. One thing that I think could really bring it out is inside of these little grooves here. If there were like a little bit of darker paint, a little bit of black to just sort of highlight these recessed areas, I think that'll make the shell look a lot more vibrant and help it to pop more and bring more dimension to it, you know, but that is all right. Also, these spikes on the back of the shell here, you notice that it is sort of an off-white color, so they did pay a little bit more attention to that as opposed to just making it a plain flat white. So I do like that they did that, making it an off-white, and then also it's the same thing down here at the tail, has the same color as these spikes here. So as far as Bowser's articulation, like I said, not much. Here's what you can do. Those arms go up, and then the elbow, bends. <laughs> That's kind of it, you know, and then the arm can just sort of rotate slightly moving it in and out, but not a whole lot. It's going to be the same thing on this hand as well. You can, tw you can tilt 
the you can twist the wrist but you can't tilt the wrist is what i'm trying to say uh you also can't move his head his head is just going to be just like this i mean i've tried it's not moving so if you can move his head it's quite difficult to do so i don't want to force it because i don't want to break anything now down here with his legs if you want him to stand up you're going to have to have him sort of like in this crouched over position like that but the leg does fully extend like this and then you can also bend the leg like that and then you can also rotate the feet and then the last bit of articulation is going to be on the back for his tail where you can just sort of move the tail from side to side just like that the tail can also help him to stand up as you can see his feet are not on the floor but the tail is keeping him nice and centered so you know you won't have a hard time trying to display this guy on your shelf because even if his feet are not in the proper place his tail should definitely help to keep him upright and then even when he wants to just sort of fall over i now have his tail facing up and then he falls back in the tail totally catches him but take the tail and move it to the left or to the right it sort of acts as a stand to keep him in place so that's how that works now the reason why you're probably here <laughs> the play feature let's take a look at how that works so it all starts back here on the shell the shell the entire piece is removable so you can just kind of work with it a little bit and then you can just kind of pop it off just like that see the shell comes completely off it's hollow on the inside and then that reveals the battery compartment you got to get yourself a small screwdriver phillips head screwdriver to unscrew it you put in three AAA batteries and then there's the on off switch right there and then you can just pop the shell right back on easy way to do that is there's always going to be this one spike exposed and then there's this one hole that's kind of open in the shell so you just kind of line that up and just push it back down and boom there you go everything is done now the other part that i want to show you is what happens when you push this button on the shell so i turned the lights down a little bit i want to show you what happens when you push this spike on the shell so when you give it a push and let it go see that light that's popping up right there inside of his mouth that led right there and then also there's supposed to be steam coming out of his mouth and that is done with the help of this little dropper that they give you that you fill up with water and what you have to do is go to the back of his head the little hair piece right here is actually detachable so you can just pull this out and when you do that you'll see there's a little reservoir down there that you can pour water into using this little dropper and the instructions say not to use more than one third at a time because i know there's been some comments made about this online the instructions say don't put any other kind of liquid in there so i know some people are like i use it as a as a essential oil diffuser or something like that uh the answer is no so let's just put some of this water in the back of bowser's head Right, that I think that's about a third. I'm just gonna pop that little piece back in there. Now, let's turn on the smoke. So as you can see, you get about five seconds of mist once you push the spike on his shell. And if you keep on doing it, you're gonna find yourself refilling that little reservoir quite often. But it is a pretty neat little feature to go along with the creepy acrylic eyes that follow you with the Mario and Luigi and Peach figure. So I'm glad they added a little bit extra as far as the uh, play value is concerned. So before I wrap this up, I do wanna do a comparison between the movie Bowser and the regular jack specific world of, of nintendo bowser and as you can see the movie bowser is larger so you are getting a bigger figure for your money and i think that overall the look of the movie bowser and the paint is done better on this one as compared to this guy right here 
and especially when it comes to the plastic that they used for most of the body this is a very flat smooth plastic with no detail and at least on this movie bowser here there actually is some detail you can feel it in your finger so it's not just a flat boring plastic the spikes are a lot more pronounced as well as of this bowser here the spikes are this little tiny points but they don't really stand out and it looks more like a dirty white as opposed to the silver on this bowser and then also when you look at the back for the spikes on the shell, the area around the spikes on the shell is just painted a lot more cleanly on the movie figure as opposed to the non-movie figure. The paint is very uneven around the spikes on the shell. So this is definitely a higher quality figure. And I think that this Bowser, when it was released, was maybe like around $15 or so. And this Bowser is 30, so it's twice the price. Um, but you can kind of see that you're getting more. It's a bigger figure, you get the play feature, and then you just get better paint, you get a better mold, and uh, everything is pretty much better about this guy. And articulation is more or less the same, so there's nothing to really write home about that. So that's it you guys, that's my review on Bowser from the upcoming Super Mario Brothers movie from Jack Specific. Once again, $30 if you wanna get this guy at Target or anywhere else, that's the standard retail price. And my opinion about this figure, just like the other figures from this line, I think it's a little bit overpriced. I would have been happier to see this more so at $24.99 and for the regular figures, $14.99 I think would have been the ceiling for those guys instead of $20, but hey, everybody's trying to make a little extra money these days, huh? Uh, but definitely if you're a fan of the movie or you're just a fan of Mario in general and you are lacking a big Bowser in your collection, I do think that this is a very good way to go, if for nothing else, just to push this button and see a little bit of mist every now and then. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Figure Feedback. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.